Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you could probably tell by the title, shockingly I have another haul to share with you guys. It may surprise you but I have a little bit of a shopping addiction. So this month I have a little bit of a collective haul from gel polishes to surprisingly more glitters. So if you guys are interested in a closer peek at everything I got, then just keep on watching. So moving right on with this haul guys and I promise it is going to be a long one so please get comfortable because I make no promises on how sore your bum will be at the end. So jumping right in I start with the few bits that I've picked up from eBay recently and first up we have these blue sky gels. Now these are gel paints but they are a more thicker consistency than your regular gel paints so they're great for some 3D nail art or also some embossed flowers and that kind of thing. They have no name names on them sorry but I got mines in black and white and I also got some of these Elite 99 gel paints. Now these are different from the other ones in that these are like your regular gel paints. So they're basically like a gel polish. Um, but what I found really intriguing about these was the cap. They have all these cute little gems and things like that in them that make it really cool to display and things like that. And that's exactly what I did. So they come sealed and surprisingly they are very well pigmented. I'm just going to show you the red here. But it is so thick and creamy and I cannot wait to try it but I will do a full review and a nail art tutorial on these gel paints for you so sticking with the random bits I also went ahead and grabbed some more glitter pots I use these 10 gram little storage pots that I pick up from AliExpress and eBay these ones were from eBay and it's the first time I'm not going to lie that I've actually bought from this seller but I will show you the difference between the ones that I get from AliExpress and the ones from this seller so the like I mentioned previously these are little 10 gram pots that I use to store all my nail art glitters in and they are perfect because they fit most of the 5 gram bags that you get from any of the glitter retailers but they also have clear see through um, lids which means you could see the glitter mix so I'm just showing you here these are the ones that I get from AliExpress now I love these ones as well and I will still buy them they're exactly the same but the only thing I noticed was the ones that I got from the UK seller have a lot more clearer cap than the AliExpress ones so I will leave both of them linked down below for you guys and if you want to see a full glitter storage stay tuned because I am working on that now and it may I'm not sure if it'll come up before this or after but anyway moving on I also got some of these sketching pencils and I got this simply because I want to do more hand-drawn nail art and I wanted to use this because I saw lots of people use pencils um, as a base so I also got some of these nail art, uh, they're not nail art brushes sorry, they're miniature model paint brushes and they're perfect for watercolours so I got this set of Arteza watercolour paints and they come in little tubes so these brushes are specific for like little model painting and that kind of thing so I thought instead of buying nail art brushes this little set looked awesome and the paints here they are here and as you can see they're perfect little tubes but they will last me absolutely ages so again if you're interested I will leave those linked down below as well Next, we move on to the items that I've picked up from El Corazon this month. Now, as you know, El Corazon is one of my favourite places to buy nail art brushes and stickers, decals, stamping plates, lots of things. They have amazing products and if you haven't checked them out, please do so. Amazing shipping and you will not be disappointed. So this time I had slightly a smaller order than I'm used to, but I got some of these awesome 3D nail art stickers by Fashion Nails. So the first set I got was these sort of, they also they almost remind me of those little Harry Potter things. Do you know those little things that come out the ball? I forget what they're called and my the geek in me is screaming. But I got those in white 
white and black. The black ones have lace and the white ones have tiny little white roses. You, ca My camera is not picking them up at all, but they are stunning. Then I got these 3D ones that have lots of florals, dragonflies, bees, that kind of thing on them. But these ones have little crystals on them and I thought they would look amazing. Then the next thing I got was these ornaments or little swirls or whatever you want to call them. And again, these have ones in colour and ones in just white and they are embossed so they'll be 3d on the nail and next i got these flowers they come in quite large florals and these also have little rhinestones in the middle so again easy perfect 3d nail art in seconds and then finally i got these almost watercolor style roses and these look absolutely beautiful and i cannot wait to use these ones so next up I got my very first Cody nail art paint. I got mine's in gold number 26 and it's almost like an antique gold so I think it's going to be perfect for the autumn nails and I have like sort of swirls in mind or baroque or something like that. Then the last things that I picked up from El Corazon this month were some more Rubloff nail art brushes. I absolutely love these. They come in both synthetic and Kalinske hair and honestly are the, my favourite brushes for all types of nail art. So as you saw there, I got um, a, a size 4 gel brush, which is my first gel brush from the brand, so I only got one to try. I also got the aquarelle brush that you just saw previously. I then got the number 5 petal brush, which obviously speaks for itself. It is great for doing petal flowers and that kind of thing. And since it's synthetic, sorry, I could not get that word out there, it could be used for all different kinds of medias. And then I got a number 2 petal brush. Next up we have the Kalinske brush, this is a number zero and this is a detail brush. Next up we have a number two Kalinske brush and this one is good for things like watercolour paints but also acrylic paints and it's also got a really fine tip on it so it's great for blending colours together and if you haven't heard of the Rubloff brushes this is a Russian company that make Kalinske and synthetic brushes and they are absolutely amazing and my last brush is a really really tiny detail brush that I think is the best detail brush and probably one of my favorites for any type of small nail art and now guys we are moving on to the gel polishes I got this time I got polishes from Kiki London I got their summer collection and two random colors so I'll jump right in and show you everything I got so first up we have this really beautiful hot pink gel polish. This is PK05. As I've mentioned in previous videos, some of the Kiki London have names, some don't. This one is one that doesn't, but as you can see, it's a beautiful polish and I love their brand of polishes. Then I got Blackpool, which is their black cream gel polish. Now we're moving on to the summer collection and first up we have this absolutely gorgeous black inky colour and this one is called Electric Island and it's so dark blue that it's almost black and it's a, such a beautiful shade and I cannot wait to use it and probably one I wouldn't pick for a summer collection but I'm glad to have it. Then we have Cotton Candy and this one is an absolutely stunning lilac pinky shade of gel polish. And then they have two oranges in the summer collection. So first up we have the lightest one and this one is called Orange Soda and is number OR01. Then the darker of the oranges, this one is called Sunset Glow and is OR02 and this one is a stunning sort of blood orange shade and again I know it's in the summer collection but it's not one that I would probably put in a summer collection but I'm really glad to own it. And then the last and final polish from Kiki London is this absolutely gorgeous yellow one that has such a subtle sparkle to it and it's called Lemon Tar and is uh, sorry, YE01. 
So now we're moving to my favourite part of the haul and this is my Smiley's Glitter Store haul and is probably my largest haul from Smiley's that I've got up until now. So this is where the video gets extra long, so please enjoy! So jumping right into my Smiley's haul and the very first item I have to share with you are these dotting tools and this was a free gift from Sarah who is the owner of Smiley's Glitter Store and I must admit they are absolutely gorgeous and I'm super pumped to have these so I'm really grateful that she put them in and then I got two pots of crystals this time so I got these chameleon ones that are called pear drop and they are basically sort of like a greeny yellow red sort of shift to them and they are absolutely stunning and I got them with autumn coming up and I just could not say no to them Then we have the next pot of crystals and this is the AB Fuchsia pink crystals in mixed sizes and these are absolutely stunning. I have nothing like them in my collection so when I saw these I thought yes they are everything I need in my life. They are a beautiful shade of pink sort of like a, a winey red with the most beautiful lilac sort of blue hue to them that I just cannot wait to try them and they will go with lots of colours. So guys, now we jump into the glitters and first we start with the little pots and first up we have Poppin' Pink which is a really beautiful hot pink mix that shifts from pink to gold. Next up we have Intergalactic which is an absolutely gorgeous purple and pink mix and it's a multi mix of silver, moons, dots and tinsel and it is stunning. Next up we have Posh Pear and this is a green mix that has a green shift and gold shift to it and again it's one of those polishes that the jar does it no justice whatsoever but when I saw the swatch on Sarah's website I was like yes I need this in my life it is absolutely beautiful and I'm not going to disappoint guys I swear I will use this soon just so you could see how beautiful this glitter actually is got some of these mermaid infinity pink stars and these are really beautiful pinky iridescent stars that would look amazing encapsulated in gel or acrylic and over any type of color that you wish or even over a glass nail with these sort of running up the nail i just think they are stunning Then I decided to pick up some glitters for winter and autumn and this was one of them and first up for those we have Burgundy Wine which is a multi mix of stars and diamonds and also tinsel in this really beautiful purple sort of pinky glitter. Then one of my all-time favourites, this one is called Rocky Road and it's a chameleon mylar flakes but they shift from green to copper and they are really really tiny so they could be put over the whole nail as a base colour and I just thought they looked like such a stunning shade of like smoky copper that I could not say no to them. Then I got Mermaid Aqua, this was one that I had my eye on from my last haul so I put it in my basket this time and I just absolutely love it. It's a glitter mix of iridescent hexagons and I'm not sure if they're all the same size or if they have little bits in them from this video but I actually think there may be various sized hexagons in this little pot but again these would look amazing encapsulated in gel or acrylic. Next up we have Matte Tiffany and this is in grade 008 which is an ultra fine glitter and this one is great sprinkled over any colour of gel or even just as a full nail. So this one is from the matte range as you could probably tell in the title <laughs> but I already have the mustard yellow in um, a glitter mix and also the matte in nude and they are stunning so I've added a few more to my collection in this haul. 
Next up we have Hyacinth which is a glitter mix that shifts from blue to gold and is absolutely stunning and was probably one that I love the most out of this whole lot. It is absolutely gorgeous and such an eye-catching glitter that sparkles so pretty. Next up we have Sea Spray Mylar Shards which are tiny little mylars in iridescent blue and I thought these would look fantastic for winter coming and possibly like little pieces of ice or that kind of thing but again it's one of those glitters that will be perfect for any season. Next up we have some more mylar shards this time in matte blue and again these are the tiny little ones so I would look perfect as a full nail or also like dispersed lightly throughout the nail and I just thought the colour was absolutely beautiful and a really gorgeous shade of blue. Next up we have Dumbo and this was from the Disney collection and this one is a sort of lilac iridescent glitter mix with mylar and little dots in it and again is absolutely stunning and will look epic over any kind of colour and encapsulated in gel or acrylic. Next up we have Wow Mylar Shards. I actually bought Wow in the iridescent glitter the last time and I just wanted these in my collection as well. Not like I need any more Mylar Shards or iridescent glitters but they are my favourite kind of glitters. So this one is a, a tiny blend of Mylar in pink and lilac so they will shift on the nail with the movement of your hand. Then I have another sort of iridescent mix to share with you. This one is called Luna and this one is various sized hexes and mylar that shift lots of different colours and it also has various glitters in it so it has a really good three dimensional sort of look to it underneath gel or acrylic. Next up we have Sugar Candy which is an ultra fine glitter in a mix of matte and iridescent glitters. Then we have another one from her mermaid collection and this one is called Mermaid Peach and this is an iridescent hexagon mix in various shades. And then the very last glitter I have to share with you in the little pots is called Baby Shower and this is a matte mix of pink, blue and white hexes and tinsel. So now we move on to everything in the little bags, which first we have this little Mickey head in little Diamantes and I thought it was so cute. I probably will never use it, but I thought I would add it to my haul anyway. And then I got some pink holographic Mylar. So this Mylar is cut into all different shapes and sizes and I really love the look that it does when it's encased in glitter and gel. So I got these in a few different colours. Next is the festive mix and again these are cut into all different shapes and sizes and come in green, gold and red so are going to be absolutely perfect for Christmas nails. Then we have Peacock Chameleon which is a multi-grade glitter in 
blue and green and also shifts with the movement of your hands so it's absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to try this one Then the next glitter I have to share with you is Candy Red Disco and this is an ultra fine red glitter which I got again for Christmas or Autumn Nails. Next I got Mauve Melody from the Milty Mix collection. This is um, an iridescent Milty Mix of stars, tinsels and dots and has the most beautiful lilac hue to it. So again, this probably would look epic underneath any colour but would be amazing as a standalone nail. Next up we have Peaches and Cream which is a coral colour shifting glitter mix with various glitters in it and also some in different colours as well. So again the bags do it no justice whatsoever and that's why I like my little pots so much because once you give them a shake and pop them in I could see exactly what I'm doing. So this glitter mix is stunning but I can't tell you the little pieces that are in it because I really can't see. So again if you guys would be interested please check back on my channel in a few days and you will see me deep pot and all these glitters and also how I store them now. Next we have Gold Rainbow which is an ultra fine rainbow mix of metallic glitters. And the great thing about this, these sort of glitter mixes and the ultra fine mixes is that basically you could put them on any kind of polish or acrylic that you want. So if you're just using regular polish, a few layers of top coat and you could use these too. Next we have Autumn Whisper and this is a various sized hexes in gold, teal and brown and is an absolutely stunning mix that I cannot wait to use. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet but I just cannot wait to use this glitter. It is so stunning and it's all my favourite sort of autumn winter colours in one little mix. Next we have Rose Gold Holographic which is another ultra fine glitter. Next we have Frozen which is an iridescent glitter mix and the glitters are in various styles and shades of blue so again perfect for winter nails and it is absolutely stunning. Next I have another iridescent mix to share with you and this one is called Bling It On and this is an iridescent glitter mix that changes colour with the movement of your hands and is also perfect over any shade of gel polish, acrylic or even regular polish. Next we have Fairy which is part of the Disney collection also and this one is a multi glitter mix with various size glitters and lots of sh different colours of mylar in it. Running, 
And finally, guys, the very last glitter I have to share with you is another ultra fine mix. This time it's baby pink and it's an iridescent pink, which would look amazing over any kind of gel polish and would give you a beautiful pink hue to your nails. So guys, that's us finally reached the end of today's video and as always, I really hope you enjoyed having a little nosy at my purchases this month and I will leave all of the links to all of the products and where you could find them in the description box below so if anything has caught your eye, please check them there. And as always guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kylie, I am a complete nail polish addict and on this channel you will find everything from nail art to swatches, reviews and the occasional haul. So if that's something that piques your interest, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click that notifications bell. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!